Yo, are they gonna like try to stab us around the corner? What do you boy K greatness and today I'm gonna walk on one of the notorious streets in Nairobi, River Road. If you're from Nairobi or you're not from Nairobi, you probably know there's some interesting things happening on this street. <laughs> but I can show you better, I can tell you. So let's go. Yeah, we also got Miss Gracie here. Hi guys. Look at Miss Gracie, she's all dolled up. <laughs> But yeah, what, what's going on on the street? Why is this street so notorious, Gracie? Uh, so because it's, as you can see, it's very busy. Yeah. It's actually like very hard for you to walk. And actually, way harder when you're filming. And of course, there are so many street vendors. So we don't even have enough space for us to walk on. Word. Uh, this is also where we have... You remember the last time we were doing a live stream? And somebody said, if you want to see, you call them pros because of YouTube? Oh yeah, Pro yeah. Maxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they come to hide. Okay, so we're going to get some interesting content. We might get cursed out. Somebody might try to smack my camera. Alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like the people are friendly. People are, friend people are very friendly in like Rodi, you know? Unless you do something to annoy them. Yeah. Yeah, it is early. That's what I told you. Like, it's early. Like, for them to be here. Because they're always here. So, like, oh, they, this is where they're at. Yeah, like, on the street, but people to the other place. So, like... If I'm by myself and I'm dressed in a type of a way, I can't just come to this street by myself. Of course not. Yeah. Because everyone, everybody's gonna look at you. Oh, you're failing. Oh, really? Uh -huh. well, well, guys like start whistling at you and all that. Yeah. Or people just look at you with that judgmental look that you can already tell that this one. You can already like tell. I mean, but it's not. That's, I, we just only seen one person, so let me. Yeah, that's fine. So that's why. <laughs> Of course, when you don't know this area very well, uh, you don't know Nairobi. It's very hard for you to tell, like, one of the girls is one of them because it's not like I was seeing these. I, I don't know what's in LA or where I don't remember on YouTube, and they're all dressed up. So, all these girls you see standing next to the wall, one of them. So, I mean, I, I think you can kind of tell, like, why is somebody just gonna be standing against the wall? like? And plus, they're gonna give you hints, especially like me. Jesus Christ. This is like the first time I've been in the alleyway here. 
sometimes I, have, I don't feel like this part of like this. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. But also these are like more of a dangerous place where somebody will just take your phone and that's it. Honestly, I seen how I've seen how old boys was grilling us when we was walking by. Like they was And everyone was looking at me like, what are you doing here? I mean, were you dressed up? Like, were you dressed nicely or were you like dressed nice. down? It's because I always like, I don't, those are the days that I used to work. I'm always like in short skirts or shorts. Uh, like, I never, unless I'm putting on a trousers, all my clothes are short. Oh, okay. So everyone was like, hmm. But yeah, I can feel like this feels sketch. Like, I've been to a lot of hoods. Like, I feel like this is a hood. Hot dudes is ice grilling us. Yeah. Yeah. So you always have to be very careful, especially with it by yourself. Like you see, like the street, uh, the street vendors, those guys were asking, why are you filming in Swahili? Yeah, they were screaming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, why are you filming? Some up? of them, they just want to gang up and then they will take away your camera. <laughs> Nah, that Sometimes you not even realize you took your camera. Nah, chill. They ain't taking money. They gonna have to fight me. <laughs> but yeah, I got, I can feel the difference between being on this side yeah, and, and being on the, the other, other side. side. Yeah. That's why I usually like I used to say, uh, like when I did like my first Nairobi video, I started with Nairobi uptown. Yeah. And then I did more Nairobi downtown because to me this more feels like a downtown. There are parts that you hurt and you don't even feel like like we're in the city. Even all this area, they are always on here. So many of them. I don't know what's happening. But there is no business. The business is bad. <laughs> business is doing bad right now. Like you see on the other, on the other side, you see them. You see them, those girls over there. Where? They are always. I wasn't even paying attention. Like five of them. So, yeah, because like when I watch videos here, it seems like they were just like everywhere. Here, it seems like they're scattered. All these buses are going to Kampala. Yeah, this one is the classic one is going to Kampala. This street goes direct to Kigali. Damn, y'all. I feel like I should put my money in here instead of leaving it in my pocket. What do you have? You're falling? Yeah. You want me to put them in my bag or you're okay? Nah, I might put it in here. I know, yeah, because they're yeah, we... Oh, yeah. 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 When you... When you walk around with a camera as much as I have, like, you can feel when the pressure's on. Like, I can feel like, yo. When people are, like, looking at you, they are, like, really paying attention to you. Yeah, like, like, it's, like, like, this heat here, like, dudes is, like, grilling, grilling. Usually people just look out of curiosity. I 
I don't know. I guess they feel like. I don't know. I guess you'll feel weird too. I, uh, I don't know. I just feel weird. Like, Why? Because <laughs> you're in the street. God damn. A man don't see you? They don't care. You have to sit up. They don't have to sit up. Yeah, that's crazy. How did you find those leaves in uh Oh was it uh, was it in Mombasa Nyani? Yeah Mombasa. How did you find them? Yeah I found them because the guy at work took the guy that was in the shop he took me there. <laughs> Crazy. Did you like them? I mean, they give you energy. I ain't gonna lie. They do make you a little bit hyper. You never took it. But like, people was in the comments like, people was in the comments was like, oh, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that because. Go to that street. Yeah, let's over there. This way. Oh yeah, people were complaining like, oh yeah, only like low class people eat those leaves and all those jug. Yeah. We'll give you a pass because you're American, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm just trying stuff, bro. Like, it's not that serious. I'm not going to be out here every day eating the leaves. Yeah, actually, like mostly, uh, mostly, like especially girls don't take them that much here. Never tried them. Really? So you would never try them? They're just leaves. I don't know, try something else. But it's just disgusting how people chew them. And then when you look at their lips, they're all green, white. Yeah, it's bitter. It's like so, like, that's why you said like you gotta chew the gum with it. It's so bitter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said the tongue. Like, I've never tried that. I was like, oh, why would you try that? Hey, but it's, it's good for experience. It's for the video. It's like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Most people here are like, who is that? Do reggae. They really like them. So, where are we right now? Like, <laughs> we are in downtown. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't even lie. I don't know the name of this street. How do you feel? I'm, I'm used to these areas. Like, I've been working in Nairobi for so long. So, sometimes, like, the first time I got to know Nairobi, I used to get lost and I'll find myself in this area and I'll be like I just need to find where archives is <laughs> so that I know my way around and at that time I was so scared of asking people for direction sometimes you don't know who you're asking yeah yeah and there was a time that uh, it was very dangerous in Nairobi people would just drag you and take everything oh really yeah so my bad I'm trying to I'm trying to frame you. Yeah, so it's tired. <laughs> yeah, so at that time I was like, no, I'm not gonna ask for direction. I have to try and find my way back to archives. Maybe at around 11 when you come to these sides by yourself at night, then that's probably can happen. But at this time, no. I don't know if you saw that video of guys who are like uh, put on fire in Kilimani. Like they were on a motorbike and they had snatched a woman's phone. The motorbike, by, the motorbike guys around that area, they caught them and then they put them on fire. They burnt them. Oh, uh, so yeah, they do that here too. Because like, yeah, in Haiti they do that too. Like if you, basically what she's, Gracie's talking about is like thieves, wazies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they catch you in Haiti, they put a tire on you, so yeah. you make sure you can't get out, yeah. and they burn you. So they do that here too. Yeah, they did that. They were bounced along with their motorbike. Wow, yo, that's crazy. Yeah. And they did that in Kilimani, like. Yeah, I'll send you that clip, and maybe you can put it there for people to see. I don't know if it's okay for you yeah, too. Yeah, that might get demonetized instantly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like somebody's burning. You can't put violence on YouTube. Mm, um, but you can put a disclaimer. Nah, I, I, I would just, just describe it. Or if we put an image, maybe, yeah, an image. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, But you know what's funny? Somebody was telling me like they, like okay, in Dar, mm -hmm. they said if you like somebody feels something and you scream like wazy, 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 mm -hmm. the people will come. But they said like in Nairobi, they're not gonna care. No, it's, it's not. That was before. But you know, it's cause in Nairobi, oh, yeah. like let's say someone snatches your phone right you now, we are yeah. like you in a place where there's so many people. At some point, you don't even realize who snatched your phone. You yeah. Know? So, but of course, again, people are very busy in Nairobi. They just care about their business. So, yeah. But nowadays, it's different. And you know, here, like Nairobi, mostly what they do is snatch your phone. That is the most that they do. Or maybe snatch your purse if you are a lady. Yeah, it seems like Nairobi changed a lot. Yeah, it's changed. But yeah, this feels like a more like commercial area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this is where you can get cereals, anything you want. Like on wholesale. So you come here to get the real prices. Yeah, this is real, real prices. If you just looked in a Ruby and you're looking to buy uh what do you call them? Home decorations. Uh, anything that you need for your house. Uh, uh, like pompers for kids, they are like, uh, you can actually get everything here. Oh, uh, I see. Very good prices. But you must speak Swahili though. No, not Not really. You can come here speaking. Nah, they're gonna triple the price if you speak English. Maybe 200 extra, but yeah, it's easy when you speak in Swahili, of course. Yeah, this reminds me of Carrier Co Market in Dar. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but Carrier Co is so big. Yeah. It's so easy to get lost in Carrier Co. You didn't do a video on Carrier Co? No. Actually, you didn't do any videos in Dar. Because I was there for three days and I was scared. <laughs> Nah. I can see. I can see why people would be nervous coming here. How far are we from the bad spots? Like with, the bad spots. The bad spots, like where the pros are at. Oh yeah, those types that you want. And I'm thinking that I think that you're gonna do it like another video, and then the other one for pros, and then you're gonna go to Penanga Street. I think you has to wait. You have to wait uh, around 6:40. 6:40. Yeah, Penanga Street is where they are. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, they just come in here. Alright, so we're about to do shots in the back alleys. Yeah, like people mostly like go, uh, come to have shots after work in these back streets. Yeah, I used to do that when I was working. You used to do that? Yeah, I know. Like, I think almost every single day after you've had a long day and Actually, you see, like, I used to live in this place where I have to queue for these matatus. So they are just next to my bus stop. So I used to go down here, have some shots, and then wait until people are done. And then I'll go home, maybe at around 8. So you used to be getting lit? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, I had crazy friends at that time when I was working. 
yeah the, the amount of people that staring at us while we did that whole <laughs> conversation was yeah, crazy I know. Yeah. So everybody was you got just buy from this guy like all these are like uh liquor stores from here to here they're also selling those leaves over there nah no more leaves we could do a shot i don't know what leaves too much you follow i'm leading you because you know this i don't know this yeah which drinks do you want to have probably vodka you like vodka or you like whiskey whiskey is much better but vodka okay whiskey also. i don't matter because like as long as it's not gin, I hate gin. Ah, but they playing music here, yo. Oh. You gotta follow the word that does that music. The other side is not as good as this side. Let's go to the last one. Yeah.
say you would have another one of that. No. I'm good, Yeah, that's why I was like, yo, you sure? I was about to ask you that. Send this out. You want to switch? Go ahead. I see them. They don't want the heat on them. That side. Yeah. Where the street we just came from? Sorry? Which street are you talking about? Can you see those ones lining up? Oh, yeah, that side. Oh, yeah, let's go. Because go, go. we could come this way, right? No, we're going to come back. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's the one. At me. Yeah, because they oh. think you're recording them. Oh really? Yeah. That's why I'm like pretending to be like talking about oh, them. They are hungry. Yo, they're so bad. Yeah? Yo, they're gonna like try to stab us around the corner. What you so Gracie, what just happened to us? So we were walking along uh, River Road where the pros are in town and that is a uh, side of downtown for those who don't know because that last live stream and people were asking kid why he didn't go to those sites and then we just said we're gonna like plan a day and we're gonna go there so we were just making at first when we there it was very early so we decided to go back and uh, it wasn't good for us guys okay we've not been hurt uh, we've managed to get out of it i mean we're a little wet like yeah. like if you yeah. see my back, mm -hmm. it's like wet. Yeah, they, they even like uh, removed my, what do you call this? It's just a hair clip yeah, that yeah, I put on my extension. They tried to beat us with a mop. Yeah, they like they were chasing mop. us with a mop, swinging a mop, throwing a mop. I'm like, yo. It's they was like, crazy. I was like, yo, this is not a camera. Like, this is a vape. Yeah. And it was like, no, delete that. Delete. 
Ah, no, so no, no, no. we were just making like street videos and they were like very angry at us. They wanted us to delete the clip, but we were not even like more paying attention to them. We were just yeah. like making the street video of downtown and part of River Road. But they came at us and they were really angry. They followed us for like three minutes. Yeah, they followed they us around shouting. the block. Everyone was throwing up. us. We couldn't record. I wish I was on live, like a live stream. Yeah, I wish I was live. That would have been crazy. The yeah. thing is, like, I didn't want them to like. This was a problem. Like, I don't care about the ladies. Yeah. The but it was like the guys. motorbike driver, the border border driver. I didn't want the guys to get involved. Cause then. Because you know they're always together. They carry these girls home sometimes. They know them. They see them every single day. So of course they know them. And if they like come to go to them, saying that we were recording them, and they're a bunch of guys, we did, like we didn't want to be in such a situation. But. At least a uh, kid graduate has experienced a part of Nairobi that he's never experienced before for the time that he's been here. Yeah, y'all said I wouldn't go there. Yeah. I proved it. Like, I, I'm not scared to go anywhere. Yeah. But it just... Oh man, they, they, crazy. they hit me with a mop. Like, I, I, that's the crazy. I, I first I, they drew stones, like two of them, and they were like six girls. Yeah, it was six. Yeah, they drew stones at us, and then they took them off, they threw them off at kid. They put some, like, they just threw water. Yeah, I don't even like know where that. they get the Where did they even get the water from? Like, I don't know. I don't even know if they, I don't know if it's water or it something. Could, it else. could be alcohol, maybe. I'm not sure. I think. I think it's just cold water that we had bought. So I'm not sure, but it was crazy. But at the same time, it was a good experience. I've never had anyone like chasing me in a row before anything. I got chased by pros in Kenya. Like that's crazy. That's a story for the lifetime. But like, yo, yo, if y'all appreciate me putting my life in danger, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Hit yeah, the like button. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Support him. Let them him. To 10,000 subscribers before he leaves Nairobi. I know it's possible. He's leaving so soon, and I wanna. I want us to get him to 10,000 subscribers so that we can watch his journey as he grows. He's planning to settle in Kenya as you know his second home. So let's support him as we support all other YouTubers that visit Kenya. Yeah, right. You already know. Subscribe them, Gracie D. You already know. She's a friend of the channel. I mean, she's basically family now. Like, yo, she's part of the family. Sure. So, I right, yo, until next time, you can't rush greatness, and we out. Peace. Bye.